Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today is January 1st, 2014, and I wanted to make this video to say Happy New Year. Thank you guys so much for all of your support through 2013. 2014 is going to be absolutely great, and if you guys didn't catch my New Year's Eve video, just be sure to watch that because I also discussed the latest mobile substrate update, which now includes compatibility for iOS 7 and A7 based 64-bit devices. And aside from wishing you guys a happy new year, that's actually the primary topic I wanted to discuss in today's video. So earlier today, a new tweak was pushed out in Cydia. It's actually the first tweak for the iPhone 5S that takes advantage of its all new Touch ID sensor. Down below at the bottom, that's integrated into the home button. It's called Virtual Home, and what it actually does is it uses the metal band that's around the home button to detect when your finger is actually placed on it. So you can actually use this tweak in conjunction with your iPhone iPhone 5s to essentially replace the clickable home button. Now what I mean by that is when you're inside of an application you can just tap on the home button, you don't actually have to click it, and it will just go to the home screen. And if you were to hold down on it but not actually click the button itself, it would bring up the multitasking interface as you can see here. Again we are in the multitasking view. So you can use this instead of actually clicking the home button on the iPhone 5s, it's actually really great and I prefer it to clicking the home button. And if you're iPhone 5s happen to be locked, you can unlock it simply by placing your finger on the home button with one of the fingers that's included in Touch ID and it will instantly bypass the lock screen. Now let me show you guys the difference really quick. So now with my iPhone 5s locked, if I were to place my finger on the button and press the top power button, it actually brings up the lock screen briefly. Now again with this tweak installed, Virtual Home, if I were to just place my finger on the home button, it instantly bypasses and goes straight to the home screen. And again, if you tap and hold, it brings up the multitasking interface, and if you just simply tap it, then it will act as the home button itself. So as you can see, I just went to the home screen without actually clicking. It's kind of hard to capture on video here. You kind of just have to experience it firsthand for yourself. So if you have an iPhone 5S, just be sure to check it out. All you have to do is go to Cydia, let it refresh if you haven't refreshed in a while, and simply search for virtual home, that's two words, and then you can install it. You don't have to set anything up. As soon as you have it installed, you'll just have to respring your iPhone 5S and you'll instantly be able to use it. All right, so that's everything I want to talk about in today's video again I just wanted to demonstrate the first ever touch ID tweak for the iPhone 5s now of course it does consume some extra battery because it has to be there to recognize when you actually place your finger on the touch ID sensor so there are some processes running in the background it doesn't take up much battery and it's just a start we should see some other tweaks in the near future implement the touch ID home button on the iPhone 5s as well of course as always I hope you guys like this video and if you didn't you want a chance to enter to win $100 Amazon gift card, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And don't forget, Happy New Year. Have a great 2014. It's going to be an awesome year, both on a personal level and a professional level for myself, and I hope for all of you as well. Of course, just be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel, I Crack Your Eye Device, Jailbreak Tech Info, and Free App Life for some awesome and incredible updates throughout the year. And if you guys want to be notified more often, such as when I release new videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.